Hi, this is Jeff the Hydrologist. We've talked to you about how rainwater impacts the aquifer and the limited benefit. And we've also talked about how you can measure or estimate the amount of water that impacts the aquifer. So what else is beneficial to the aquifer? Precipitation as snow typically provides more benefit to the aquifer than just rainwater. When snow melts, it also runs over the land surface and works its way into streams, just like rainwater. However, in many places in Arizona, the runoff in these streams gets captured behind dams and stored in reservoirs to be used later. One example of how snow melt is used in Arizona is along the Mogollon Rim in central Arizona, snow melt runs off into the Verde and Salt Rivers which is ultimately captured in a series of dams and then delivered to the Valley of the Sun. That also occurs in the Rocky Mountains where water is collected and flows into the Colorado River system. We've covered a lot of material today. So what does that mean to you? And what can you do to help the aquifers in Arizona? On a large scale, you can support enhanced recharge projects, which are designed to slow down and allow for additional infiltration into the aquifer along stream channels. An example of this is the collection of stormwater that runs off on paved surfaces and streets within cities. This water is often directed into detention basins, which slows down the flow and then allows for infiltration into the aquifer. A secondary benefit of these detention basins is it reduces flooding of homes and businesses. Rainwater harvesting, both passive and active, can also be done at an individual level. Active rainwater harvesting involves collecting rainwater from your rooftop, for example, storing it in tanks or cisterns, and then using that water instead of using water from your faucets that is coming from the aquifer. Finally, passive rainwater harvesting is another way that individuals can help benefit the aquifer. In this, you try to capture the water flowing across your property and allowing it to infiltrate into the ground. Rainwater harvesting, both active and passive, can be done at the individual level and even at your home. We've covered a lot of information in this series. So what can you do to help the aquifer?